when she does something that she can, he can react, he can recover reactively. Yeah. He sees her come out. He says, all right, I know the space that she can cover. I can get under him. I might be able to swing at him. A B, we're fine. So I guess if if this match is happening... Oh, no, this this is losing against fifth because Hugh was in, was in semis. It looks like they're about to start. The last time I saw um, Slug play against a Falco, it was Bones at the UD tournament. Holy crap, oh, the close that my. set was incredible. Um, Sun 2, as we mentioned, is um, good at these slower-paced matchups. Um, we saw a couple chinks in his armor against Gear, um, but he did come out on top. Uh, Slug, of course, a different beast. So Slug is a, is a pretty good record from from what I believe against uh, his power ranked Falco of the region. Although I guess Bones is also power ranked. Um, his, his record against Bones isn't bad either. But I was mainly thinking of uh, one Vikram from uh, yes. Swarthmore College. I believe they more or less go back and forth. I couldn't tell you. Who's up? I think Slug has the edge, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a records guy. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, he clearly has some base understanding of, of how to fight Falco, but as as I see, it can really it can get out of hand pretty quickly uh, when you're fighting the bird. He just he just does so well. Like once once he finds his opening, it's almost uh -huh. um it's almost like Ice's Luigi. <laughs> but with Ice's Luigi, Luigi. Should never get an opening, but when he does, it's amazing. Falco can earn his openings and that's create true. them. You know, so that's where it's definitely different. Oh my god. You know what I expect from Sun 2? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. Um, a well-spaced forward smash against Ice Climbers when they're at mid to high percent. It can be safe on shield. It can knock Nano away. It can be super good in general. So hopefully we get to see a little bit of that. Now when you do those S smashes on shield, are they safe for no shield DI? Or even if you shield the DI in, they're still safe? Uh, if you space them far away, they slide a little too far, even if you shield the DI in. Yeah. Okay. From what I've been told. I'm not a Falcon okay. though. Alright. Because, uh, you know, I always wonder that with, with, with those sort of... Uh, those spacing of like Falco's if, and F smashes. If you're all oh. the way inside them, of course it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the, the, that, this is barring poorly spaced uh, F smashes. You know, what and we're I talking mean, about here. Slug does, yep, does make some creative neutral uh, decisions. I, well, I shouldn't say creative. Um, some ones that other characters use that Icy's don't always. When he sees a Falco doing that, um, he is a smart enough player to start doing a quick little dash shield so that the spacing is not safe, and then he gets yeah. a huge punish off of it. And like something uh, you see from floaties against Falco, I also want to note that uh, John Sun Tzu did a did an, pretty much an icy specific tech where he grabbed one down through. Uh, yes. he, he grabbed the backup down through just to keep uh, the main climber off him by putting the hitbox out with the lasers. Yep, pretty cool. Do that one or forward there, either one. And and, and what I was going to mention earlier is uh, there it is again. Oh, because he catches a uh, Hugh going in. Is that against Falco tapping him? with a move and then shielding, it's actually pretty good because a lot of the times they'll try to box and they'll down air. Yes. And, and, and yes. that down air will be, is, is often unsafe on shield. Uh, so, or maybe so, they'll just whiff it. Or they'll just whiff it. So giving him a love tap and shielding can be super good. That's that's It's great as puff uh, because you can also oftentimes wave dash away. So it's like, are you going to down air my shield or uh -huh. are you going to down air literally nothing? Uh, ice climbers, I can't really speak on, on, on if, if they have those sort of like Quick moves that they can hit and then shield. Not quite built that way against Falco, I, I believe. Down throw again. Probably gonna find a pickup on Nana here. Ooh, actually converts it. He's been going for Popo. Converts it for a crouch cancel instead on Popo to, uh, to almost kill him. This should be clean up. I think Slug does have one of the stronger so pose. Oh no, this no, could be fine, bad. He's fine. He's so, fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> Slug, Slug's jabbing on the top platform. Yeah, he sees he, his opportunity. Wanted a little too much, I guess. Really messed up his moment there. Could have, could have really been something. But this should do it all. Oh, yeah. My. He covered it all. Wow. He got it all. I should, I should correct something I said. I said forward throw also works to get the hitbox out. If you're throwing um, a character at very low percent with your forward air, they don't become a hitbox. So just so you know, I, I want to correct myself before you try to forward throw them and when <laughs> the, the one you have is at low percent and then you, they don't get hit, you're like, yeah. Snacks lied to me. <laughs> and now you know. Um, FD, traditional, counter pick, and conventional as well. So a couple of things happened here. A, uh, slug immediately gets to center stage, holds it. Yes. Didn't chase after Sun Tzu. Also, I don't know if he Falco killered him there, but he, he pretty much let himself get dared to convert it into a grab. And that's something that Icy's like do against Puff all the time. Like they'll eat a back air that, that's drifting in. They say, whatever, they grab you for it. That's that's what that down air really reminded me of. He, t he ate it and he grabbed him. Uh, oh my, a little bit of a, a little bit of Icy's action. Oh, <laughs> let's go, Nana. 
no, you're right. Um, Slug is playing with a lot of Ooh, yin in this grab. matchup, a lot of pull. Um, he's kind of making Sun Tzu play a platformer, right, with the ice blocks and the defensive aerials. Yeah. They're team combo Dash attack. Grab. He gets in the grab. Dash attack again. Does it oh up throw. What my. the heck is he trying to do? Are that you was serious? nuts. serious? I mean, I guess you're up two stocks, but I thought this was your friend, man. They're supposed to both be NBR. Like, uh, I don't know why you're doing them like that. It's one side B. Mm, out of there. First stock for uh, for Sun Two, almost a minute and a half into the game, and also down. There's that down throw again. He's finding some nice grabs on uh, on Slug, and that that's the thing. If you can, if you're good at grabbing ice climbers, you can really really uh, do a number on them depending on what character you are. This is looking devastating yeah. for uh, Sun Two. He's not. He's Whoa. he's actually converting fairly well. But he's just not getting enough of those openings. And on FD, uh, what do you expect, you know? And just like, it looked like Slug's area control when Sun Tzu was being pushed towards the ledge was just too strong. Um, Sun Tzu uses his double jump in that last instance there because he has nowhere left to go. Um, the mix-up, of course, is you double jump, and then if the Icy's try to throw out some sort of aerial to beat you coming down, you can punish them for it. But Icy's aren't going to do that. They're going to wait for you to land and try to grab whatever you're doing. And there's something uh, that, that's interesting to note, because Gear was also making some liberal use of that. We saw Sun Tzu several times in that set jump from the ledge and air dodge, because he realized he, he messed up by going after Gear in the way he did, and uh, and, he, and he decided to bail at the last second. Hugh hasn't been letting him bail. A slug hasn't been letting him bail. I'm uh, especially impressed by that Firebird kill because there's no magnifying glass for Nana. So he had to know, and you know Nana doesn't DI, right? Yeah, yeah. So he, uh, he measured it up real well there. I mean that that that's that uh that's some two specialty man. He just he just knows his combos against these like lighter weight characters. He does. He gets everything he can out of each hit. Oh wow, what my. a spot dodge. Yeah, that I, I was like I was like my instinct is smash DI, grab the ledge. Um Sun Tzu does a direct counter attack. He oh. just spot dodges the grab and hits them. Out of the blizzard as well, like while shielding the blizzard, yes. he gets gets away from the rest of that. That was arguably like a game-winning spot dodge. We'll see if it uh, <laughs> it's if a it big pays one. off. That's a big one. That was a wobble. That was let's even up our pretty. I believe like pretty much even percents. It was pretty close. Uh, yeah. And and stock count. And instead, he's up. He's probably gonna pick up this Nana kill. Doesn't go for Shine back here. Instead, just dumpsters her. He's gonna save him. Yeah, he gets she's still hit got a hitbox. Still invincible. Yeah, you have to wait quite a long time. Not much he could have done there. Looks for the edge guard. Oh no. Is he gonna get there? The yeah. I like the F smash though, because if, if uh, Slug tried to just straight up fall to ledge, and especially without a hitbox, that F smash would have decimated him and given Suns 2 this two stock lead, but instead he finds it with a back air. Battlefield. Oh yeah, so this this is the, the intellectual pick. Cause, uh, did, they, did, they, did they start here or was it Dreamland? Is it here? Doesn't matter. They start on the fountain. They start on the fountain. They did, they did actually, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, because Ice Climbers, they can't. Full hop to the top platform. They don't. They don't cover the top platform ultra well here. That's, but yeah, especially on battlefield, right? And uh, and Falco actually no impact lands to the top platform. Not he does super helpful for him in this matchup, but you know being able to get up there is pretty nice. You can do it um, with a double jump if you're really good at it. Faster. Oh, than he teared both of them. Why? Uh, the first dare was actually really good because um, he, he he baited Slug. He said, "You're gonna come. You're you're gonna try to interrupt my combo on Nana." But I'm actually going for you. Yeah. You, you were the real target. It, it was definitely a target switch, just like teams. Just a, a great pickup and a great game from Sun 2. Outspaces the down smash that he and knows then is he coming. he instant transmissions to the other side and finishes oh, off Nana. This is an explosive God. offense from Sun 2. Jeez. It's, uh, this, is, this game's over. You're not, you're not three-stocking Sun 2. Power rank jersey player. Unified jersey player. With the Sopa. It's, it's it's not gonna happen. He, especially like in, in these like like we said several times, these slower matchups that he's real good in. That was sick though. I tell you, Slug um, isn't afraid to go for those reads with the Sopo that he knows he needs. The thing is like he can't get ah. hit again, right? Yeah. And he did. This should do it. One mix up. In style. In style. He covered so everything. This as as soon he as could have, yeah, he could react and change his trajectory. The moment Slug pressed side B, this, the game was over. Yes. When he decided to go that high and try to go for an aerial drift mix-up from way out wide, it, it, it was over. And really, he doesn't have much else, so we can't blame him. But, you know, it's yeah. but I, that's Sopo as being kind of a low tier, right? Yeah. It's one of the reasons. 
it's, it's that recovery, man. There's, there's, that, there's that down throw. Or that down throw. Yeah, you know, times. he's getting a lot of damage. As much as you see on Sopo, okay. I was going to say there's even more on Nana, but Sun Tu is not dealing with, no, oh, you know what, that was actually uh, doesn't care. That's actually technically Popo. I'm sorry. The backup climber, like you've been saying, is better. Auxiliary climber. <laughs> the auxiliary climber. I, yeah, definitely definitely my terminology of choice for uh, for the one that is not controlled. He just forward smashes him. Honestly, ever since the, uh, like, after the FD game, it is it has been the Sun Tu show. I mean, I think this is a smart stage choice for Slug. He goes for something that's the most similar to FD that he can find. But I don't think it was just the no platforms. I think Sun 2 has figured out a few things. Like, really trying to space back airs. Looks a little transparent. And um, if there's one thing I could say about Slug, he's a very, this beats this. If he sees it, he beats it. Um, if you're going to back air four times in a row, he's going to beat it, even if it's not an easy thing to do. Ooh. Calls out that up air. Even though we didn't see it, Sun Tu's heart definitely skipped a beat when he missed that grab in front of Ice Climber. <laughs> yes, yes. He definitely. Many people have been in that situation before. Ignoring Nana again. Said opting to create a little bit of bigger window for it. Oh my. He uh, hits him with the roundhouse kick. Now, yeah. was that a moment of pure genius from, uh, from Sun Tu? Because of the lip of the stage, that F smash wasn't going to go to the very corner in terms of, like, his weight. Like stepping into their shield yes. so that i don't know if that was safe if if, if he had continued shielding but my god <laughs> it's definitely shielding. something um i think oof, was it a stroke of genius i don't know if it was but i think he innately knows where he's going to be after the forward smash i don't think he like calculated that that i think he just like took it for granted that he already knows that <laughs> it's a game sense oh that's a free grab you not picking up the tech chase despite shielding in front of ICs. What a brave man. I would have full hot out of there and got hit by the down smash in a second. And despite an electrifying start from Sun Tzu, we've actually got a pretty close game. Starting to look a little bit more like the beginning, but maybe these uh, not going for the Nana kills when they're available to him is starting to bite him in in the ass. Ooh, doesn't pick up the uh, that down air. I really thought he was coming down for it. Slug, totally Sopo. Cool. I think we're going to see another uh, crazy, crazy down smash back air conversion. He's going to have to find an opening, and it does not look like Sun Tu has any intent of letting him in there. Safe back air walls, um, hitting him with lasers to keep him at bay. He is willing to play this as long as he needs to. And you know what I think is really interesting about it? The longer this goes on, the sooner it... Woo! Holy moly, he does. I was going to say the longer that goes on, the sooner it will be that he gets to play against both climbers on a transformation, which I think is what he wants. <coughs> I see where he's in. I see where he's in. That, I, that back throw, that was great. Because that's that's the mix-up. A lot of spaces miss that tech there. They're, re they're getting yeah. ready for that down throw, nice and slow, react to it. That back throw, you just, gone. Toss the trash, jab reset, down smash, whatever you want. He just went for the raw down smash. So instead, got a little bit of a little bit of camp, setting up camp, setting up shop for these two players. Fire transformation of Pokemon. Ooh. That one ice block. Yeah, go get him. Let's make him think. All right. Knockdown. Ten situation for these two. Sun uh, yeah, one stock away from moving on into... Uh, I love the crush cancel talk. Into loser semis. Back airs. Oh my god, way dashes away. Sees the Slug sees the second backer coming, reacts. Oh, pretty much, I, uh, okay, I wouldn't say he reacts, he anticipates. And way dashes out of there, almost gets a grab for it. Sun Tu out of the corner. Okay, wow. And despite hitting the laser, is unable to pick up off of it. And... Uh, Gets down smash for it. Slug, I feel like he stole that game away off of a few key reads. Um, it seemed like he knew what Sun Tu was going to do, but Sun Tu's picked up on something, uh, which I guess I'll share with you. Um, I see that when you think about Ice Climbers, if you were to just picture the danger zones for them in like a, some color, pick red, right? It's a dangerous right. color. It it's is. right next to them, they can grab you, they can yep. down smash. Yep. It's scary. Yep. That's it's like deep cool. red, and then it, almost blue. Yeah, too, too, <laughs> it's too, too hot. It's too much. And then, like, all the. Well, he's going to do it again? No, he missed mm. it. All the way at the end of the wave dash distance. Those are the two zones yeah, of threat. Yeah. Sun 2 is doing like these fade back bears, um, a couple dares, fading back such that um, it's in between that distance. So yeah. if they wave dash forward, ICs get punished. If they don't, who cares? Fine. Who cares? Yeah, so you that, can do that, something else. That's just a general, you know, like tactic against wave dash characters like Luigi. You know, it, yes. it's a wave dash. It's 10 frames of lag. You air dodge onto the ground. In the middle of your wave dash, you're not actually able to do much. You can DI. Yeah, you can DI, that's, that's true. That's about it. 
So, so that it looks like Sun Tzu has kind of reminded himself of, of where that space lies, and, and like he's also using the platforms, as we can see on this stage, uh, to 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 get into the spots that he wants to, the in between. Um, yes. Because because when he's on the ground, he's so true. He's he's at risk of uh, of being in the the outer end of that threat zone, so he's using the platforms to maneuver into the that that in between. The um, what was what was the uh. That like space or like that concept in Get Out. Oh my gosh, uh, the sunken place. <laughs> he's, he's, he's looking to get into Ice Climber's sunken place. Uh, that 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 nether region between wave dashing and uh, and shield yes. grabbing. Yes, it's a very weak position for them. And uh, also on these platforms, uh, ICs of course can zip around the the ground very quickly, but their aerial drift itself isn't very strong. So he's putting himself in positions where he can react to the jumps and uh, punish. It's pretty neat. A little bit of dash dance action, a little bit of that Fox showing up. Every knockdown with these down smashes picked up 52. The quickness doesn't go up on the platform. He's just converting oh, hit after hit, knockdown after knockdown. He expected man. get up attack, didn't trust himself. <laughs> yep, back air knocks him to the blast. I one. think that Sopo did more than enough. I that was uh, very good. Yeah, that F smash. He was a, he was like Yo. zero, right? Yeah, he got him out of crouch cancel. Huge. Um, for ICs. There was a moment I thought he was going to kill him. Like, yes. it, it wasn't stopping. When he's up on the platform, though. Got all those knockdowns. Sure. Almost got a shield grab in the corner. It was, uh, it was looking good for uh, for Slug Sopo, man. But, uh, you know, like, like, like I mentioned, back to the uh, the Sun 2 show. Tries to pick up that F smash. A little, little bit of anti air action. I'm, I mean, Sun 2's got to be glad he DI'd away. That was really dangerous. I mean, Sun, Sun 2's just dodging a, a lot of these hitboxes that, like, Hugh or Slug is, is putting out almost like. Almost covertly, you know, catching landings off of punishing Nana, yes, or, you know, yes. uh, setting up the roadblocks. Like he's he's just landing safely. He's he's getting away from uh, from the ice climber hitboxes. Pick up, okay. He is having a hard time killing Nana. Okay, finally does it without taking much damage, but he's off the stage. Feels dangerous. I know that feeling. Gives up a little conversion. Fifty six. We'll this time, he, this time he does this time. shield it. Oh, yes, DI's in. You have to DI out. Ooh, reads the platform movement and covers the recovery well. Kind of uh, covering the quick side B with the back air and yes, reacting or, to what was left with the grab. Or a jump to ledge, also very popular. Mm, mm, mm. And then he can also cover um, an air dodge onto the stage since he doesn't have that much lag when he lands. Oh my gosh, I thought he was going to back air out of shield. Just goes head first into that down air. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, not quite sure what the intent was, cause, cause Stang or Stango, Sun Tzu is very content to, uh, to last, go play. Last stock, game five. This is what we play for. Loser semis finals. Oh my god. The winner gets into top three. This is huge. They are play both playing on a razor's oh edge. He gets the grab. I think the wobble's gonna do it. That's the moment he needed. All right. You've seen it once. You've seen it a million times. It's and, always said. And I have to say, uh, Sun 2 didn't get wobbled very much during the set at large. 